Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to disable what they call the get even more out of Windows. On a fairly clean install it may pop up occasionally and it wants to do this. Offer to set up links to OneDrive, get Office ready, set up Windows Hello, link your phone and PC and do more across devices. In an upcoming build of Windows, so this video is around August 8th, 2019, you'll actually find this in Start, Settings, System, notifications and actions. Don't forget you can always type in here. So if you started typing notifications in the search, you can see it'll jump you right to it. So that's kind of handy if you didn't want to go start settings, system, notifications and actions. So it's not here now because I don't have the build. You will need that build 18945, which should be out in August or September. So if you're watching this video after August, September of 2019, should be right here. Probably sandwiched between these two. And it will say, Suggest ways I can finish setting up my device to get the most out of Windows. All you'll have to do is uncheck it. See if it's checked, it's blue. So if this was the one we're talking about, you would uncheck it like that. And that's all you got to do and you're out. Now, if you don't want to play around this way, you can also do it with a registry, which is kind of neat. I think the guys at WinArrow discovered this while playing with the build. We have the registry files. You can download them here and we'll come back to that in just a minute simple enough to do and again this page will be linked to as well as the download page in the description of the YouTube video so be sure to expand the description so you can see those links so what we want to do is open the registry editor and we can do that with Windows key plus R and type in R E G E D I T press OK or just hit the enter key go ahead and confirm and what we want to do is copy and paste this code right here and the reason I like to do it this way is we're the only download site in the world who tells you to stop downloading stuff. If you can do it without a download, why not? Uh, too many people get in too much trouble with downloads. We test everything, but let's be safe. So let's get the registry editor going. And then you want to clear this out right here and use your control V to paste it in and hit enter. You're going to hear a beep because as you can see, we're in current version. Because I don't have the newest build of Windows, that key does not exist. The user profile engagement. So highlight that, right click. Go back to the register on the left side under current version, the last thing we could find. Right click and do a new key. Control V, enter. Now you have the user profile engagement key. Now we want to come over here and we're going to do a new D word. Where'd it go? Here we go. 32-bit value, and we're going to name it, it's kind of funny name, I think scooby dooby doo every time I see it, Scooby System Setting Enabled. I wonder what Scooby stands for, somebody tell me. So we're going to right-click over here, and we're going to do New, D-Word 32-bit value, it's interesting, pretty much all, it gets a little confusing because you see 64-bit, and you're on a 64-bit, but that's a keyword. So whenever we're adding new keys, it's almost always a D-Word, 32-bit value. Click on that. Once again, you have the empty space. Hit Control V. There's your Scooby system setting enabled. Scooby. Double click it. As you can see, it's set to zero. Change it to one. That enables it and does away with the Get More Out of Windows screen. It's as simple as that if you don't mind playing with a registry. Now, of course, that means some people don't want to play with a registry, and that's cool too. So click here where it says download the registry files and look for the animated arrow. We did that so people could find it because yes, we run ads, but you can see the animated arrow. Click on one of these two sites or even click where it says download locations. That'll work. And once you have the file, you can double click it to open it. And in this case, I'm even using the Windows extraction tool. And you don't have to do anything with it. You don't really have to extract it, though sometimes it'll warn you you should. In this case, you do not. So what we can do is we can enable and you'll get the prompts. Click yes, wait again, click yes, and there you go. And if you haven't played with a registry, the neat thing about this one is I've tested it. So I put it on my machine and I did the enable and I did the disable. And you have to reboot when you're done for it to take effect, don't forget, or at least log out. So I can click on disable now if I change my mind, which I don't know why anybody would. And once again, it takes our registry back to where it was. So really, if you haven't played with a registry much, this is one of those ones you can't get in too much trouble with. So there you go. And that's about it. So now that gets rid of that prompt so he doesn't have it popping up every once in a while telling you, get more out of Windows. And I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I can get more out of Windows. 
All right, gang. As always, we appreciate you watching. We appreciate the subscribes. Click a like. Look for the little logo down here. You can subscribe to the channel with a quick click without looking around because it should be popping up right here. And that should do it. Thanks, as always, for watching. See you next time.